Good morning, I'm Brooke Hayes. A Fond du Lac teacher claims he was given a tough choice, resign or be fired for teaching a sensitive topic. Daniel Detman says it happened after he taught a geography lesson he's been giving students for 15 years. He says the lesson included discussions of female circumcision. Detman was suspended after complaints from parents. The school asked for his resignation, which he submitted the next day. The sheriff's office says two boys, a 14 and 16 year old, have both been taken into custody after a fire destroyed the historic Pembine Railroad Depot. No one was injured, but the building is a total loss. The Children's Museum of Green Bay is celebrating its grand opening this week. They've moved to a new location out by Bay Beach. This week they have fun themed activities all week long, including a frozen themed event today. I'm meteorologist Michael Fish and today a weak front moving on through and with it, these scattered showers, even a couple of thunderstorms possible going through the afternoon. But into the evening, a lot of those are actually going to start to die off. And tomorrow we'll start off dry, very slim threat of a shower tomorrow. But today, scattered showers or even a couple of thunderstorms possible. Uh, 74 degrees, so similar temperature to yesterday. Now, as far as tonight, though, any early shower ends and for tomorrow, actually, most of the day dry, a little bit cooler in 70, but we could see a stray afternoon shower. Now, it looks like we have a couple of dry days, Thursday and Friday, but going into the weekend, that could start to get unsettled as we start to transition over to more summer-like temperatures by Monday, looking at 80 degrees. Now, you can stay connected all day, every day at NBC26.com, or you can download the NBC26 app for free on the App Store.